Can I post ClickBank links on Facebook? Hi, I'm Victor. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. Also, if you have questions or comments, please put them in the comments section below and I'll respond to them myself. And also, please subscribe to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about can I or can you post ClickBank links on Facebook? Yes or no? Well, the, the short answer is yes, maybe, or yes, but. And the thing is, is to keep in mind, we're talking about Facebook. We're talking about social media. And ultimately, social media cares about social media. How can I rephrase that? If you're going to put advertising or marketing into social media, if your advertising and marketing has no socialness to it, then it could become something that is not allowed. Let's just go through a few ideas. And also in this video, I'm going to put some links at the bottom of the video or in the description. I'm going to add some links so that you can go to these pages here. This is probably one of the most important pages if you're going to do any kind of marketing or advertising even inside of Facebook. If you understand what Facebook doesn't want around, then it kind of opens up, makes it a little easier to understand what they might be okay with. And so there's a link I'm going to include to this page and it's advertising policies. If you read through the policies so that you're familiar with them, it can it can just be a fantastic thing for you as a marketer or if you're going to do try and do online business using ClickBank links. And probably the best and simplest advice I've seen is don't do it directly. In other words, do it indirectly. Uh, stir up a conversation. If you just go through the advertising policies, it'll teach you a lot about what Facebook is looking for and what they're looking for in order to protect their customers. And I think that's the easy way to think about it, too, is ultimately the social media groups are trying to protect their customers and they want their users to have good social interaction and social that's what they're all about is the social side of it even if you're trying to do marketing and business and everything you can actually put a clickbank link into facebook but you take a chance of your post or your ad being disbanded and not allowed and even worse facebook even shuts down accounts you may not have encountered it but you could actually like try and put a post in and add a link and Facebook basically says, you know, nobody's going to see this. Or I've also heard of people actually putting something in and believing that they had put a post in and they contact friends and other people and stuff. And everybody's like, well, I don't I don't see it. And you don't really want to fall into that. It's safer and makes more sense to learn what the policies are and everything. And so you can understand also maybe what to do. Uh, what you what you can try and do and everything and what to avoid doing number one factor to remember is like I'm saying it's it's a social media and so they're gonna protect their customers and their and their customer experiences think of it this way what do you enjoy in social media and what bothers you and if something bothers you it's probably gonna bother other people now there are some things where I know people that joke around kind of coarse and other kind of stuff where some people aren't going to like that. Well, if it's just your personal post, that's one thing, and your personal content. But if it's as a business or a marketer, here are some simple do's and don'ts. Do's, you want to entertain. Some funny videos and stuff like that, or pictures and memes. Those are cool things. You also want to maybe inform in a social way. Share what's going on and what, what you're thinking about stuff. You know, I've heard a long time ago, you can start a fight with anybody if you tell them what they think, why they think it, and why they feel a certain way. But you can always share what you think and feel. In other words, no one can tell you that about yourself. And also, in social media, you want to be positive and encouraging. Maybe some things to stay away from or steer away from or avoid 
are being really negative or doing things or sharing things in videos or images or words that make people feel bad about themselves. I'm not talking about your own personal content and everything. The focus here, the question again, is can you put a ClickBank link in Facebook? What I'm trying to do is give you kind of an overview of an idea, a way to think about that. We're talking about business here. We're not talking about just your own opinion and stuff. Your own opinion and stuff, that's your business. Uh, that's your own personal business, your private business. I don't want to get into any of that. I'm trying to focus on that question. Can you put a ClickBank link in Facebook? The simple answer is yes. You can try it. Uh, it may or may not work. Your post may or may not be seen by anyone. And there is potential, depending on what you're trying to do, that your Facebook account can get blocked or shut down. All of those things are possible. And so I wanted to include some simple resources in this video that you can go look at and in the description I include the link for this page and especially this page here because if you just go through these different blocks that they have they have the overview the review process just to give you an idea if you're actually doing ads but think about it this way your post is basically an ad itself and if you have a post that goes viral or that a lot of people like it's real easy to boost a post that's advertising and so all of this stuff is going to apply to it if you use it as advertising. So just think about it from that perspective from the beginning. They even tell you here what to try, what your options are if they disapprove something. Here we have prohibited content. And in this area, just reading through these things could really help you. And where, where it says community standards, if you go through that, if you just go to that link and read that information, it's going to take some time to get yourself acquainted with this stuff, but realistically, how much time are we talking? Maybe an hour, maybe a couple of hours to read through all of this. But if you're familiar with it, then you're less likely to put yourself in situations that will stop you from being able to do business online through Facebook. I would encourage you, go ahead and go through all of this. You should be acquainted with it if you're going to use it. Facebook for business. That's basically it. Automatic stuff, right? When someone goes to a page or clicks on a link and goes there and all kinds of crazy stuff starts happening, then Facebook's more likely to go ahead and just kill that and make it so nobody can have that bad experience. You see what I'm saying? It goes back to that. If you're going to create a landing page or somewhere where you want someone to go to and it has all kinds of pop-ups, or videos that automatically play and animations or any of that kind of stuff, then it's very possible that ultimately the link gets banned. Now, they can also ban URLs and domain names and stuff like that too. So it's always a good idea to understand what the policies are so that you can play nice. Let's put it that way, right? Because you want to play nice because you want people to see your stuff. And going through all of this information just can really... It gets you acquainted with what they're looking for, which makes it easier for you to make sure you provide and create stuff that is allowable and that people are going to be able to enjoy and everything. Some of the things I never thought of before, before going through policies and stuff like this, were the idea that if you have an image and someone could look at the image and feel bad about themselves because of what they're seeing on the image, that image could be disbanded and disallowed. I never really thought about that before. So think about it in terms of like all kinds of weight advertising and stuff like that. And there's a lot of clickbank that's about that kind of stuff too, by the way. And it doesn't mean it's bad stuff or bad products. What I'm saying is, is sometimes the images and content and stuff like that or, or wording and everything that people use about weight loss and stuff ultimately make people feel bad about themselves. There's a difference between making someone feel bad about themselves and encouraging someone that there might be help for them or for their situation. You see what I'm saying? It's one thing to look at a person and say, oh, you're terrible versus you're in a terrible situation. Two different worlds. I've included in the description the link for this page so that you can look at the advertising policies. Another Facebook tool 
is this page here, Facebook for Developers. And you can actually put a, a link in right here, even a ClickBank link. And you put the link in here and you click debug and it shows you what Facebook actually looks at when they look at that link. That's kind of cool. And it might be a way that you could test links. If you want to try links yourself, you might be able to test them here. And testing it here is not the same as actually using the link in a post or an ad or something like that. If you use a link in a post or ad or something like that and there's problems with the link that maybe you didn't even know there were, it could still affect the abilities that you have. Like they could put limitations on your account <laughs> because you had that link there. Whereas if you go somewhere like this, you might be able to test a link and everything. And if there's issues that they have with it, then maybe you get to find out here instead of find out on your own account. You see what I'm saying? So it might be a good way to test things. That's really what I wanted to do is put this together and answer that question. Can I post a ClickBank link on Facebook? I hope you know or see the answer is yes. But the real question I would have for you is why would you want to do it that way? Think about it this way. What's more likely for someone to do? See a link and click on it and go buy your stuff? Or enjoy an experience, a thought, an idea, a meme, a laugh? And then maybe want to find out more about something because, let me put it this way, you can lead a horse to water, but you, you can't make them drink. That's the way it says it. And then every once in a while you hear somebody say, yeah, but you can feed them salt. And maybe that's the way to think about ClickBank links in the first place. Maybe a ClickBank link is the water that you want them to drink. The salt is the meme that gets them thirsty. I hope that helps in some way. That's why I wanted to make this video to kind of answer that question. I do have some links in the description that might be of stuff that's interesting to you if you're interested in making money online and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully this helps in some ways. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And please, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll respond to you. And also, subscribe to my channel.